What precisely is precision medicine? <laughs> Most of medicine for our history has been done one size fits all. But we also know it doesn't always work. Well, that's because we are not one size fits all human beings. We're all individuals. We all have different genetics and different environmental exposures. And ideally then, you'd want medicine to adapt to that. And we want to push that because we now have the opportunity to do so. We can screen uh, for all kinds of individual differences using genomics, for instance. Let's just sequence your genome and see what variations you have that might say, you know, that drug over there might be good for you, but not at that dose, but better cut it back because you're going to be very sensitive. Those kinds of opportunities are now bubbling up all around us, and it's time to make a big push and see, can we do this in reality and actually then begin to implement it in practice? There's another part of this, which is focused on cancer. We are at the point now, in a fairly short period of time, of taking a lot of what we do for cancer away from the one-size-fits-all and into this space of targeted therapy based on that individual's tumor and the analysis of it. How so? Cancer is a disease of DNA. And we increasingly are understanding which of those mutations are bad ones and what you could do about it. Because we have an increasingly long list of new drugs that are specifically targeted for those molecular problems that cancer develops. These are not the standard chemotherapy, which is sort of killing all cells that are growing rapidly. This is much more precise. It's a smart bomb. 